In this plotting video, we're going to plot some information that we've already calculated in the pi approximation problem. As you're going through this, if you start getting questions about what's going on and how the calculations work, I recommend checking out the pi approximation video. In this video, we're going to take this computational model and turn it into a simulation by adding a visualization component on it. So that's going to be our plot. Before we dive in, I'll at least run through the code so we can see the code together and see what the code is actually doing. Now that we see what data we have and what data we're looking for, let's go ahead and plot some of that data out. The data that's happening in my while loop is a single point. So I have a scalar value that I'm looking at. If I want to plot this scalar value and I put my x and y coordinates in, I'm not going to see anything on my actual plot because the default is just a line style with no marker style. So the no marker means I'm not going to see a single point. So I have to add in a marker style in order to actually see that on my plot. Now, these are going to be a bunch of different points showing up. But if I'm only seeing one point, I probably forgot to add hold on. I have to add hold on to say that I want to hold all of those markers on that same plot. Right now, I have a bunch of single points. If I want an actual line, I have to create a vector. So I'm going to go ahead and add a vector in here through augmenting. If you want more details on how to build an array inside of a loop, go ahead and check out one of my other videos. Now I have a line and a bunch of points showing up on my graph. It's happening really quick. So if I want to do a little bit more, make it a little more interactive, I can actually use the pause function and add a pause between every single marker. That way, I slowly see them showing up on the graph. If you are using pause, you can go ahead and play around with that more and try different increments of time to see what you like for your different visualizations. And as always, it's important that I add all my titles and information to my plot. So I'm going to add titles with the title function, and then I'm going to add my Y label and my X label to add my Y and X axis. The other data that I have going on here is my accuracy. So this whole time, I'm trying to figure out how accurate my estimation is. So I can actually go ahead and create a vector for that accuracy so I can plot that out too. Since I have two different plots that I'm starting to work with now, I want to use the subplot function. That way I can show both plots on my same figure. And just as I would in any other one, I need to also label this plot. I can stop here. I'm happy with my two plots. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more text to emphasize different points in my plot that I want my user to see. But I still have a bunch of text showing up in my command window, and my user ideally is going to be looking more at the figure. So I want to go ahead and move all that text that I'm outputting in my command window, and I'm going to put that onto my figure. So I'm going to need the text function and then the num to string function. If you want more details on the num to string function, check out another one of my videos. As you may recall from another video, I have a bunch of different options with my text function. So I can decide how I want that text to look, where I want it to be, and all those different placement and ideas. If you want more information about the text function, check out another one of my videos. Now that I have all three of these outputs that I was displaying in the command window onto my figure, I can get rid of those and I no longer need to fprintf to my user. If I wanted to go a little further, I could change my user input to be a dialog box, or I could go even further and make a GUI. For right now, I'm just going to be happy with the input function in the command window. If you're trying to plot something in MATLAB right now and you're having any struggles, please leave me a comment and I'm happy to give any feedback or help out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos.